G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at some obscure Delphi syntax and I'm going to start by creating a new VCL forms application and to it I'm going to add a memo and let's, in fact let's just align it to client and check a button on there and I'll just align that to bottom. Now the obscure syntax we're going to look at is threadvar. So our form 10 is a global variable and every thread we create uh, in that application We'll reference that same form 10 but if we declare things as threadvar each thread gets its own instance so a different thread would get a different instance of this integer so a reasonably easy way of proving that is by creating a bunch of threads and um, assigning different values to my threadvar so if we create five threads Just create an anonymous thread for which we need a procedure and uh, what we'll do is is assigned a random number between 0 and 99 or inclusive and one to five we'll sleep for 100 milliseconds and then we'll print it out um, Q Need to provide nil for the uh, reference to a thread, and then we need to then print out the thread var. So one dot lines dot adds. So if I do two string. So if I do um, my thread var two string, this is going to print out the same value every time because we're using Q and Q will run this bit of code in the application's main thread, and so we'll get the main thread's instance of my thread var. So I'm just going to have a local variable uh, in here. I'm just going to call it S and outside of this I'm going to assign S to that and throw S in there. So that rather convoluted nested set of anonymous methods so we're creating our anonymous thread and then we are we're creating five of them and then we are printing out a random, random number five times effectively. Uh, for each thread, and I've got something wrong. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that. Yeah. 3rd time lucky. And we click our button. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do is our create an anonymous thread we need to start it and we can see there's a 70 there there's a 70 there there's a 70 there we can see that each thread is getting its own random number 
and printing it five times so they're not overwriting each other. So that was a mm, slightly convoluted way of demonstrating Threadvar. It's not something you should use because it's global state and global state is bad but there may be the odd occasion where it just is very convenient to be able to have a global variable that is different for each thread. I'm not sure how efficient this is because you might have an application that creates 100 threads or something like that and that might then have 100 instances of that integer which is not a problem really but if that was an array of 10,000 integers that might be uh, cause a little bit of cause for concern in terms of memory allocation but anyway I hope that was a well I I learned about thread via um, three or four years ago uh, I've never actually used it in an application um, I just came across it in some code that I was maintaining and thought it interesting as it's uh, quite rare that I come across syntax that I've, I've you know not account encountered before so if you've seen that before or have used it in an application add a, add a note in the comments and how it was being used or something like that uh, remember to like and subscribe I'd appreciate that and I hope you found this video useful I'm Alistair Christie from learndelphy.tv